I told y'all I was going to have her put it together because it's going in her truck when it's done out of the farm truck. So, you ready to put your motor together? Yeah. Okay. You know what to do? No, I don't, but seriously. Yes, you do. <laughs> Here. I'll help you. You hand me supplies like I do you. Okay. <laughs> now, like I did on the other side, we're, she's going to uh, put a little Marvel Mystery Oil in. You're going to need more than that. More? A liberal mm -hmm. amount? A liberal amount. Is that good? <sighs> Look like Kool-Aid. More than that. You're going really? To, yeah. Here, take the lid. Great. <laughs> I don't want to use too much of it. I don't know. Get here wet. You got to get them cylinders wet, girl. Is that good? Yeah. For now. And then you're going to do a couple cylinders. You have to pour a little more on there. I'm going to fix you up with a little oh. assembly lube. Go all the way to the bottom. Make sure you get it all the way down. Okay. Right, now that one you're probably going to have to put a little more on because you want them cylinders to look wet. It's the other person. Pepto Bismol. No, that? what you smell is marble mystery oil. It smells like black licorice. It smells like Pepto. All right, you got that down? You approve? Let's see. Yes, that looks nice and wet. That's what you want it to look like. Hello, need, Matthew. You need this still? Oh, no, you can that. Yes, I'm recording. Oh, you're so... You're, you're oh, fine. my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, I hope you didn't need your snuff because it's in the house. No, not right now. All right. <clears throat> all right, then. Wipe off the deck. Get all that nasty shit off of there. You're just having a hard time, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Now what do you do first, Misty? Put the little rubbers on there. I'm still wiping. I want to make sure it's nice and clean. Okay. Do it like you do your butthole. You got to get it nice and clean. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're making me extremely nervous when you're doing this. No, why? I don't know. Misty got her driver's license yesterday, so now she has to have a <laughs> drive. Oh, this is supposed to be you doing this. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you spray this like that. You take the bearing. Okay. You wipe it out. Wipe, 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 wipe. Okay? <laughs> All right. Now, you know where to put the rings? We've only gone over this a million times. Uh, with your other child over there. Well, not a child. Don't ask me. Well, Matt's busy doing a valve job, so you're putting this together. <laughs> okay, I don't remember. All right, let's give, let's give you another lesson. Okay. Okay. First of all, I've already got this set, but you want to make sure it's clean. So, it's clean. You see that nasty shit that came out of there? See that? This is why we clean things. All right. Now, you're going to take your, your rings. you got to do a couple things. Number one, you got to make sure that all the rings are okay. And slide around. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to take your oil ring. You're going to put that on that side, which should put the other one 
on the other side, like so. Okay? You're going to look at the, the second ring and make sure it says top. Okay? See, it says top. Mm -hmm. All right? You're going to look at the top ring and make sure that the bevel, see that little bevel on the inside of the ring? Where? Right there on the inside. See, it's how it's kind of beveled right there on the inside edge. About. Look, I'll take it off and show you. You see this bevel right here? Oh, that? Yes, you want to make sure that's facing up. Or, if it says top, make sure it's on top. Okay, so now, this goes to the front, right? Mm-hmm, so I need to... Yeah, well, just hear me out. This goes to the front. Now, the spark plug's on this side, mm -hmm. so... You want to put the second ring towards the spark, and this is the, this is just the way I do it. Okay, uh, the book actually tells you to put it here and here and here, and whatever. This is the way I do it: put the second ring, the gap towards the spark plug, and put the top ring away from the spark plug. That way, all four rings are completely away from each other. All right. Now, take Mr. Piston, and this thing you got to kindly work him down. Work the ringy dingy in there, like so. Sometimes it's kind of a bitch. All right. Following so far? Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't have this thing upside down. It has to have a taper towards the top. Okay. Now, do you remember what to do with this thing? You, you pull the trigger and... Yeah, but do you know where to put oil? On there? All right. You put oil on this side of the wrist pin, okay, mm -hmm. a liberal amount, you put oil over here, like so, then you slide him this way, you put oil on this side, a liberal amount, put oil here, right? Mm -hmm. So anywhere there's going to be movement, mm -hmm. anywhere there's going to be movement. That's correct. And then you work that. Kind of work that oil in there. Now, them rods, if you ever have a rod in this YouTube, if you ever have a rod that don't float freely like this, you need to fix it. I had to press five out of the eight pistons off of these. Actually, I had to replace a couple rods and pistons, but I had to replace five or pull five of these off because they were jammed up and they weren't doing right and had to hone the wrist pin holes. Anyway, that's a whole nother video. Now, we know what to do from there, right? Get the dog here. Get the dog here out of there. The dog here is not cool. Now we take our oil and we put a liberal amount on the burn, like so, right? Mm -hmm. Now get the the crank pin, which that's the crank pin. Mm -hmm. Get the the journal, mm -hmm. place it straight down. So turn it over till it's straight down. A little more. Approve or no? A little more. A little more. A little more. You want it straight up now. That's, that's good enough. I have to look at my okay. tippy toes. All right. Now you know what to do with that, don't you? Flip her upside down and put her in there? Yeah. Put, put, put her in the hole. Make sure she's facing the right direction. Which the dot goes to the front. Now sometimes I turn pistons around and that's a whole debate that we won't get into. But... <clears throat> All right, okay. now you're going to bang around this here. You're going to lightly knock this piston in, and you're going to make sure this stays seated as you go in the hole. You're going to make sure that's straight, and you're going to watch that connecting rod over there and make sure it don't hit the other rod or anything as you're going. Go on. You've seen me do it a million times. Hold on to that thing. I'm scared. I'm... Hit it right in the center. Come on now, you got this. Boom, you got the piston in the hole. All right, now we can move that out of the way. Now, go on and knock the piston all the way down to the bottom, but you're going to have to take your fingers over here. Mm -hmm. Should we show YouTube this? Yes. Is that in the camera? 
Nope. Barley. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, you're going to have to take your fingers. That rod's dangling. There's a counterweight here it can hit. Mm -hmm. Can YouTube see that? There's a counterweight here. And there's another rod. Because I already put the other side in. So you need to make sure your rod, hold your rod, you know, so it's not going to go down there and beat on the crank. Hold it where it needs to go. Make sure it's aligned. If it needs to turn or whatever, make sure it's it straight. So okay. Now tap him on in there. Watch what he's doing down there. You can go all the way to the bottom. All right, now pull your little rod rubbers off of there. Okay, I can't do that with all that oil on there. Oh, maybe I can. You can't. You just gotta sometimes wipe it off your fingers. Coming off, I couldn't get I it. See, you don't want paper towel in all over here. Okay, so hand me those. I'll clean them and stick them on the next piston only. Now, you need to take a cap. Put them on them. And you need to oil it. Do the same thing. Do the same thing. And make sure, look look here. On a small black Chevrolet, the, the bearing tanks face out, okay? Okay. You always want to make sure that these caps line up with each other. If you turn that cap around, uh, it's game over. Well, number one, it won't go together. But So make sure the bearing lock goes to the outside. Bearing locks go to the bearing lock. Slide that on there. Push it up there as far as you can get it. You don't have a piston up there. Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away, Fluffy. Go away. We want dog hair in the motor. Go away, baby. Or go lay down somewhere. You'll get the drive, ride, go away! Fluffy, <laughs> go mess with Matthew. <laughs> Those are locked now, so you only go on in one direction. I don't even make that kind of move you know, for these things. Let's make sure there wasn't like, I don't know. No, Fluffy. Go away, baby girl. Fluffy! Okay. You're gonna knock the camera over. Get her paws dirty too. Now, snug them up equally. You hear me? Huh? Snug them up equally. So, tighten a little on one side, tighten a little on the other side until you get them. And you want to tighten them hand tight, but you don't want to tighten them real, real tight because we got to torque them. I know it's tempting to do that with a damn impact. And that's what all you young folks like to do. Is get the impact after shit. And give it a ratchet. What, is that, what does Daryl call it? Ratchet. No, not a ratchet. -tat. It's a ugga dugga. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we do. These are lock nuts. These are old Pioneer bolts. Cardinal bolts. Alright, now, what we're going to do is we're going to give it one rotation. Like so. And 
Now bring it back down there. We're gonna check him and we're gonna make sure that we got side clearance and we ain't got nothing binding up. Okay. Now I've told you how to do this. Now you can do it on your own. I'm gonna turn the motor back around. Damn, you're stepping all in all down there. I can't help it. There you can. Let's see. I'm gonna get back over here. Like that. And get it back in camera. Okay. And we need to get a trash can out of here. Alright, you know what to do. I'll put the rod condoms on. So, like, each part where the ring is, that, like, where they're separated, need to go in opposite direction? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll go ahead and clean your bearings for you too, so all you got to do is pull, pull put the rings, check the rings. I've already got them. Well, I put the rings on. I put one on one side and one on the other. So now do your second ring. You know where your spark plug is? Turn that piston around because this is the front. So first of all, look at your rings. Make sure the taper's on the right, going the right way, and I don't have the ring on upside down or something like that. Today. It does happen occasionally. They go up. The, the, the bevel on the top ring goes up. Okay, so that's right. The bottom ring goes down, but this one, the the, the, the second ring says top on it. So. Okay. Yeah. Turn it that way. And you turn the top ring away from the spark plug. So turn this one all the way around this way, away from the spark plug. It's the top one. The top one away from the spark plug. That's the top ring. Oh, well, I thought you were talking about the one that said top on it. No, the top ring. So, the middle one, I'm going to say. The second ring goes towards the spark plug. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, turn that upside down, set it on the bottom. Turn it upside down. Just turn it down. What? Hang on. Well, you can do that. You don't. You get the outside of them wristbands too. Don't forget the bearing before you put it in there. There you go. And then like that, the taper goes towards the top of the piston, so flip it upside down. This? Flip, no, flip this upside down. Oh, this? Yeah. And stick it over the piston like that. Oh, okay. You kind of have to work it. You kind of have to make this even, like this, and then kind of push it down because it's stretching around it, and then flip it over. Start working the rings in it. Now I can flip it over? Now you can flip it over. And sometimes what I do is I'll take the piston and just set it in the hole the way it goes, just like so, because the skirts are sticking out. So kind of get it in there the way it goes. Now you can kind of work the rings down in there, okay. like so. There you go. Now you're cooking with gas. Now we got crank pin on the bottom, right? No, I, don't, I didn't check that yet. That's why I was like, are you sure? Okay, well, I always do that first. So. Try 
I do that always about my hand. Like right now. Okay. Right. Okay, it's close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. There. <clears throat> I hit around the side. Well, just you want to make sure it's sitting on there. So when you start tapping, if it starts popping up, then. Oh. Get out. Another tip. Make sure that this is completely straight to the front. If it's turned sideways, the rod will be turned sideways and it'll have a hard time going now. So make sure it's facing. Like a glove. You've only put seen me putting it together about seven or eight thousand motors. So. Yeah, but you never told me about the ring thing. Well, I did, but you wasn't paying attention. Yeah, you should be down there looking at it. Looking well, sure. I had flipped it the right direction for me to look. Yeah, I put it on that correctly. Yeah. I do have a big. Hey, Matt! Why you making all that damn noise over there? Why? Am I? Yeah. Because it's my job. Okay. I got a bit of movie, so I have to push it. How else am I supposed to get paid? <laughs> well, there is that. <laughs> Would you like me to move it towards me? That's not the problem. Having issues getting it done that on. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, and like I said, these are lock nuts, so they only go on one way. They go on. It's all the way down. You sure? Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, you won't encounter these lock nuts on anything ever again because they don't make these anymore. Well, I don't think they do, for, for rod nuts. These are hard ones. Now, if you look, you see how that side is yeah. different? That's it, that's what I was doing, yeah. and I didn't realize it. Now, break it, why don't you? A little bit wider. Okay, perfect. Perfect spot, a little bit wider. That's... <laughs> 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 <clears throat> so, no bigger. So it's gonna just gonna hit forty five, right? Oh, shit, I just popped it off. No smaller. Than that. Smaller than that. Yeah, yeah. Three, 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 three. I, I prefer you to use. You know, this sixty to seventy-five thousandths is fine. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm using the right thing. This sixty though is getting a little. You're gonna have to. 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 Yeah, I mean. 
I'll have to order some more stone. Along with another list of shit on the wall over there, argon bottle, propane, etc., etc., etc. You done? All right, good. Give it a whirly gig. What was that noise? Go down there. When you got it down to the bottom, go down there and give it a wiggle jiggle. Make sure that it's. You need to look at it, Misty. Well, it's like the tongue good, though, to okay. the bottom. It's fine. All right, move on to the next one. Now, before you do anything else, put that. You know what to do now. Turn the piston so it's towards the front. Make sure I don't have one upside now. I did. Okay. All right. You know what to do from there. Now you're cooking with gas. Right. Mm -hmm. You got it cocked. You need to pick okay. it up. You got it. To get it on there, you got to kind of take your thumbs and press it press it straight down there you go well no, on that one side <clears throat> there you go now yeah you can do that but usually I like to stick a little skirt out so it goes into it there you go that is called the piston skirt Like a pro. I'm slacking again. <laughs> That's okay, because I need a paper towel to pull that off with. Where, you know what? Okay. Here. No, don't lose your shirt. What? That's unprofessional. What? Here. Okay. Says you. Says who? Him. Me? If I'm going to use my shirt, I don't do it on camera. <laughs> well, he uses his shirt all the time. I do. Here. <laughs> Unprofessional. There are the nuts go on like that. So. Yeah, I, I figured that out. Uh oh, we're out of paper towels. This is not cool. We need more paper towels. I'll be back. Oh, get on there.
What? Paper towel. The ones that are those the ones that are crappy? Little bit. Yes. Not that crappy, is it? They're full paper towels, you know, so. Yeah. I've got the remainder of the good ones right here. I don't know, there's some good ones in the car. If they didn't all end up in the house. Mm -hmm. I know I bought them out. I left one can on the shelf and went back and got it. I don't know when we quit recording. This is on. No. Probably your phone's about to be dead. No. <laughs> All righty, you ready for the last one? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Straight down from here. Oh, I was checking this. Oh, okay. okay. <coughs> My bad. Good, good, dad. <laughs> you know, I kind of know something. <laughs> There's two, three different kinds. There's three, three different pistons in this thing. I have three different motors. <laughs> yeah. Why don't build that motor? Okay. There you go. Dress your stone, man. Okay. <clears throat> well, Matthew, those are hard seats and they're hard to grind. I notice. I hate them already. <laughs> So while Misty's learning engine assembly, Matthew's over there doing his second valve job. He did damn good on his very first one. Like a professional. Because I gotta turn this shop over to these two at some point. I'm gonna get an old. Don't even work. What you well, hey, that's not nice. <laughs>
fix it. <laughs> well, yeah, you can fix it. Just hit it with a 30 on the top. That's exactly what I was going to do. Because you got to... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Whenever you... Don't beat the damn thing in there. You see the counterweight down there? You were probably hitting the counterweight if I was a betting man. Huh? That's called the counterweight on the crankshaft. So here's what you're going to do. We're going to just go ahead and pull this off. Because your oil ring didn't go in all the way and you're going to start over again. You don't have to oil it. Just put the pistol back in. Check my rings. Make sure they're warm up. Yeah. Okay. You need a hairnet, girl? Yeah, I don't need a hairnet. It's not me, it's the rabbits. <laughs> okay, like okay, okay. I'd like to work your rings in there. What? So I'd like to see him in a hairnet, but that'd be hilarious. There's a video of him on TikTok of him in a wig. Oh, I know. Right, make sure you. Pointing your dot pointing forward, your rod straight, and all that. Okay. All right. Hold that thing down and tap. You picked it up on one side. Hold it down. There you You're done with that thing now. Uh oh, I'm slacking. Uh oh, what I do with the cow? Oh, there it is. There you go. There you go. Let me wipe your tools off for you. If you know, if they get slimy. Yeah, now you doing like I do. Put the paper towel in your pocket. Now you always wonder why I have paper towels in my pocket. That's why. And I'm also standing like this. You're almost as tall as me, too. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're a lot. That's your line. <laughs> you know that's a fibby fib. It was so funny whenever she was uh, putting her height down on, on the... I started laughing on, so hard. <laughs> on the driver's license application. And she put it down four, what is it, four? I'm four ten. Four ten, and she looked up at me, at me and laughed. May lie about 10 pounds on my weight, though. <laughs> it's I. Isn't that what girls do? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we can get rid of this here box. Man. Hey, oh, I'm okay. We didn't ask. <laughs> My nickels. You're fine. Thanks for using me 
is a jump over. Just trying to put all these tools away and clean everything up. Flip it over, oil all the rod nuts. Well, there's a couple of ARP ones in there. Those have to be, uh, they got to have ARP. Let me wash, or not wash, but. Uh, <laughs> you might have missed. You don't have all these tightened up all the way, but that's okay. So, this last one, you uh, didn't tighten it up all the way. For you. I didn't know that you weren't here. That you were here. So now, what you're going to do... <laughs> okay. I'm hearing it, but I ain't seeing it. <laughs> at all. Girlfriend. <laughs> no, but you gotta you gotta snug them up. You gotta make sure they're all the way. Check your boyfriend thing. They have not going boop, 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 boop. It's not pulling the caps apart. Here. All right, so now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take all of these nuts off. Again? Yes. Why are you looking at me like I have a penis on my forehead? Well, because why? Well, I'm going to show you why. You have to take them completely off? Take them completely off. What did I just do with that nut? You didn't. It's oh. still there. That's why I said. <laughs> Take them completely off. Yes. And I'll tell you why. Now, a couple of these. Now, these particular rod bolts are old Pioneer hardened bolts. And they just require oil for their torque. Okay? okay. But I had to replace a few rods in this engine. You want to make sure you get oil around the the base and in the threads, okay? Yeah, you got an easy one. You don't have to put all that freaking messy crap on there. But there are a few ARP bolts in this motor. Uh, this marker's junk. Here. Actually, there's only two. So those two right there, you'll have to put ARP move on for them to fork right. Okay, so go ahead and take those off. Take those nuts off. You're going to have to get a hold of the leverage into that handle and pull. Pull. Use both hands. Put one hand on it. There you go. This is the part where most of you youngins would get the impact out and go, tat, 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 take them off, tat, 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 take them off. A hooky dugger. Because y'all young folks have no patience. Sorry. 
Y'all want instant gratification on everything. Man, that's just good on that one. I even put a 15 on it. Here. Well, if you're going to do one on it with a 15, you got to do one. I do it. all of them that way. I got this. Form of shit. Make sure you get the threads real good. All that top. You want that? You want, you want that oil all in them threads. Otherwise, it does not correctly work. All right. Put your nuts back on. All that needs to just put them back on. Yep. Well, that's not that bad. At least I'll have I mean, to you know, I mean, you could turn the motor over and do it, and then turn it back over and knock another piston in and turn it over and do it. I just. I just like to put it all together. Why don't you put them on, like, put it on before you? Because it makes a damn mess. And you can't put ARP lube on before because it gets all over the bearing and everything, everything. else. You don't want it on the bearing. Huh? Is it everything? <laughs> right. Is that that black crap? Yes. Oh. And you're going to have to, there's one rod, you're going to have to do that because it's got ARP bolts in it instead of the angles. This is budget friendly, y'all. We use parts from three different engines to build this engine. It's oh, Frankenstein. Um, you gonna tighten it? Yeah, it? we're gonna loosen it. It's Frankenstein. <laughs> I was watching her, Garrett. I wasn't gonna say anything. It's Frankenstein. Frankenstein. The funniest thing is when Garrett was down here and I was doing a head bolt video, and he had a a, a five eight socket on a bolt that was a half inch, and he kept turning that damn ratchet, turning that ratchet. Y'all go watch that video. It's funny because. He's turning it, turning it, turning it, and I finally said, I think you got the wrong socket, dude. He's like, oh. <laughs> like, how would you not know that? <laughs> That's Lisa's son, right? Hmm? Yeah. That's Lisa's son, right? Mm hmm Huh? Over there? Did you make an appointment? Mm -hmm. Damn, I wish I'd have known that, because I sure would like to get my hair fixed. I hope she's got time to do two because I might ride my ass over there with you. In the morning. So after my, after she bring me to school. Don't tighten it all the way. You need I to tighten them equally. I can't bring you to school in the morning. I gotta fix. Oh, that's right. That's right. I should Me too, otherwise you have to ride the old school bus, huh? I, they don't come down our road. Why not? I think it go down our road too late. They went down our road because I was riding in the afternoon. Well, you, you just might have to call them and tell them you come. You don't need to ride school bus. Well, if I'm up that early, I'll give you a ride, but I don't normally get up that early. Yeah, me too, no. <laughs> All right, you got them? Yeah. Now, these torques, these particular bolts right here torque to 50 foot pounds. So, on most small block Chevrolets, it's 40 to 45 foot pounds. These torque to 50 foot pounds with oil. So, torque them. You know how to torque them? You got to put your hand right here, and you do both sides equally. Don't just torque one side and then come back with the other, okay? I'm going to do these two to show you how to do it. And make sure you're hand, holding your hand here. Not here, here. And All right. Click. And you pull slowly until it clicks. And you see how that bolt gave a little bit more, a little bit more? Mm -hmm. All right. So I slide you over them a couple of times. There you go. Get out there on the end of that handle. There you go. There you go. Check them a couple times. Good.
actually give them a little extra. You know, for bad money. Okay, so, now, we're going to turn the motor over. We're going to check our side clearance on those two, okay? Now, I know that's plenty, but we'll check it anyway. Uh, we need at least, I prefer 15,000. <laughs> well, that's 19,000, so that's plenty. That's actually exactly what it is, is 19,000. So, you don't want any, in my humble opinion, you don't want any less than 15 thousandths on a small box Chevy. Okay. Now we're going to rinse and repeat till we get to the back. I'm going to pause this video because it's getting pretty rhetorical. So we're going to, until we get to the back one because it's got ARP and it's going to be kind of weird. So All right. right so Misty has gotten, show what you got to. All right. Show what the difference is. They need the black stuff on it. Yeah, but why? We've got, <laughs> we've got Pioneer, the old Pioneer hardened bolts here, which takes these two lock nuts here and they require oil. ARP uses ARP lube. If you do not put the ARP lube on there, they will not torque right. And I don't give a shit what anybody says. I got in an argument with a guy in, at Mylodon over this. And ARP knows what they're talking about. They've only been in business for a bajillion years. So. You're almost out. Yeah. Probably about as long as you're dead, Misty. Yeah. Are you trying to say I'm old motherfucker? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Language! No, you don't have to put it on the top. Put it around the threads, all the way around. Get it all up in there. So we're that, that's, you got plenty on there. You just need to work it around the threads and on. So we're just saying it smells good? Huh? So we're just saying it smells good? Huh? Alright, you got that. Just up to the floor. Look at the last one you did. That was perfect. No, 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 Not what? on those bolts. These bolts are, like I said, if you've been paying attention. I was paying attention, but you said those two. No, I said these two on this rod are ARPs, and they need ARP lead. That's what I said. The rest of the other ones you do just like you did the last one. Oopsie doopsie. Can I use a paper towel it? No, it'll be fine, but if you put ARP lube on, those won't, those will actually put too much. They're ready. I don't know, it'll probably be just fine. I know people that use ARP lube on stock bolts, which you're not supposed to do. But, um, it is what it is. <laughs> well, those are the last two. You do those and check your side clearance, and if it's good, you're good to go. You can start. Now, let me tell you something about these. When you put those nuts on there, I like to. I like to, put them on there. I like to it back and forth a couple times to make sure I've got. out if I do the same thing I was doing again with the with the, the, the ratchet tatchy. Mm -hmm. Positive. Well, you, yeah. I'm just gonna go in the right direction. Oh, 
call you hover. I'm going to call you drone. I'm just standing here. I know, but you hover sometimes. Well, I ain't got nothing else to do. I can go there and hover over Matthew and watch him do a valve job. But Breathe on his uh, neck. I hell with you doing? I'll just play on my phone. Fine. Do what we do. Look, I'm trying to show you something. and All you're ever doing is being on your phone. <laughs> Man, I can't catch a break. What? Oh, y'all. Can't catch a break. Y'all just That's not time. true. We only ever. Y'all just, that's all y'all do. Give me a hard time. Because I'm okay. old and. I have only called you old like twice. And you, y'all let me walk around with my shirt on backwards one time. I. The whole damn day. Did not. I bet you son of a bitch was a lot of laughing about it too. Because you didn't tell me till we got home. Hey, your shirt's on backwards. Oh, hell, we just been out everywhere running around. Well. It was a stop. Uh, this is 50, right? Yes, yeah, 50 on both of those. Oh. Let's, let's push the motor back over in the camera view there. Okay. Put your foot on the front of that engine stand right there with you. There you go. I'm going to go rolling with it. <laughs> I have to keep my legs straight out because I'm too short. Man, short people just adapting over. I'm short too. Yeah. Ish. I'm okay, only, Matthew. You know. What am I? Like five nine? I'm only a couple inches shorter or taller than you. I almost said longer. <laughs> so we're comparing now, huh? Okay. <laughs> Get your hand out there on the end of that um, short wrench. Your arms ain't that damn short. <laughs> you sure that thing didn't click and you just didn't hear it because Matt was grinding? I heard it, it click. Okay. You're just stiff. <laughs> what? I didn't say nothing. Any YouTubers want a kid? Got right. a driver's license. I got less than a year left. <laughs> no, you don't. That never works. What? All right. Check your clearance. You done with this? You do both sets of rods there. Checked all the rest of these? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got well, something! Uh, you're done. Alright, now we're going to wipe this oil off here. We're going to bag him up until tomorrow and then we'll put the front on it. So I guess that's going to do it for our hour and a half version of this part of the video. Uh, Misty is actually pretty good at most. So I've been teaching her some stuff. Stuff it is. I'm smart. You know, I have another daughter, my oldest daughter. 
and she can run any machine in this shop. She can build a motor just like I can. She claims she can't, but she can. Because when she was younger, she used to. But she has a baby now, and that's more important. So I had all girls. I didn't have any boys, except Matthew. I had to adopt him. Huh. All the girls think I'm the favorite. <laughs> because you are. You're not the favorite. You're the boy he I never don't have had. a favorite. And he's my son-in-law, or fixing to be. So, anyway. Congratulations! Now you're extra favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, Missy. I guess that'll do it for uh, this version of the Mark, Matt, and Misty show. Since Matt's the favorite. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Just kidding. It's fine. M and M's and the M. <laughs> We'll see y'all tomorrow when we finish this thing.